give her 50K, she's security and pats down all male patrons walking in the door and has a uniform on. Y'all picked like, the wrong career. <laughs> Y'all should be concerned. <laughs> sir, what, sir, what is this? <laughs> no, no, no. You cannot bring that in here. <laughs> Yo, role playing at the door of a strip club when you actually trying to get in? <laughs> yo, you- <laughs> and then get mad like, yo, Megan, get out of here, yo. Like, uh- <laughs> no, Warrior Mom. We are back uh, again. So some things came out over the week. Uh, Complex. I guess we could just start right there, Rory. Oh, was that a quick hit news right yeah, away. Your, your favorite, your favorite uh, platform. <laughs> Complex. Best, best publication, I think, in history. No, I'm, I'm, I'm right there with you. I would go Pitchfork and yeah. then Complex. Rolling Stone. Who? Pitchfork. Like, Complex. All Complex and Pitchfork. Uh, 21 Savage has been named the best rapper of 2022. I agree. Debate it. Now, <laughs> all jokes. <laughs> no, I'm, no, no, no. I kind of do agree, though. Listen, agree. we've, we've, had, we've been talking about uh, the run that 21 Savage has been on for the past at least two, three years now. Mm. As far as feature versus... Uh, his records, uh, obviously now the the album with uh, her loss with Drake, um, best rapper of twenty twenty two though. Okay, while I do agree, since you guys agree, I'm here to just debate all of the episode. <laughs> twenty one Savage kept up with Drake, which is an amazing thing to even say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How can he be the best rapper of the year when he wasn't even the best rapper on the album he put out in twenty twenty two? So. As much as I do agree with Complex, I'm mad you guys all agreed. I thought someone was going to bait me. Never mind. I disagree. Well, he no, was the second best rapper on her loss. I don't think we agreed with uh, Complex. <laughs> I, think, I said we had talked about 21 Savage's run. I'm com- coming that, out. That he's been coming on. out hot today. No, I, I, I like it. I like it. Uh, but yeah, to, to, to your point, uh, the Her Loss album, obviously, we were surprised that Savage was able to perform the way he did and uh, keep up with Drake, quote unquote. Mm. And uh, and being who he is, Twenty One yes. Savage, he complimented the album just as well as Drake did. We didn't in my know, opinion, we, but he wasn't the best rapper. We didn't know we needed that album until we got it, mm. and mm. we're so happy we got that album. Um, but the best rapper of twenty twenty two, I think, is a bit of a stretch. I wouldn't say he's the best rapper of twenty twenty two. This was his only project this year, right? Yes. Okay. This yeah, that was, feature verse on JID's surround sound. Well, yeah, he had yeah. features. He had, he had Tate, feature right? verses, but as far as shout out to Baby Tate. Yeah, and Tate. As far as full length projects, this was his. Uh, this was his only, I believe, full length project of 2022. Great album. Her loss is one of my favorite albums of the year. Um, and again, I think 21 Savage did his thing on that entire album. Definitely made me more of a believer than I already was in his ability and his talent. Um. Being a believer is hilarious, though. No, because, you know, some people, they'll push artists on you like, yo, he's hot, yeah. he's dope, he's this. And you listen and you like, oh, he's cool. Like, you know, I like him. But after listening to 21 on that on that, on that that Her Loss uh, album, I definitely do uh, appreciate him a lot more than I did. Um, To his right, credit. Now, now I'm, looking, I'm just looking through my rap album list that we had already talked about last year. Okay. J.I.D., Pusha. Gibbs. How many features was Gibbs on? You can put Gibbs... But again, I know when they say rapper, they mean overall. Yeah. They don't mean just rapping. Uh, I'm, I think Kendrick could have gotten that okay. as well. Absolutely. I think 21 was probably more, uh, this is going to sound insane to a lot of people I know, probably more culturally relevant than Kendrick was in 2022. Mm-hmm. Just between age gaps and that whole thing, I think across the board, 21 may have surpassed Kendrick there. Mm-hmm. So I'm not mad at it. But I still think if you're saying that about 21, you could then just say Drake was. <laughs> But everyone also had that Nas record. Remember that whole thing that yeah, which came I mean, I, I King's love. Disease. Yeah, there twenty one. <laughs> no, no, but they, that back and forth with Clubhouse, and then they yeah, did that was that together. was yeah, that's that that whole thing, and then naming him the best rapper of the year is like no, okay, but that's throwing salt in like a nah. But to argue with that, the moments that he made, whether that record came and went, that was another moment rap wise that twenty one created, coming off the her law. Yeah, he's arguing about relevancy, mm-hmm. and then does a song with Nas, who put out an incredible album in twenty twenty three. Plus him just being Nas, so I agree. To to his credit, can you, at what point can you just not say Drake is the best yeah. rapper of every year? But to twenty one's credit, if you actually read the interview, the interviewer asked, "Do you consider yourself in the same category as Cole and Drake? Are they your peers?" And he goes, "Hell nah." So he's well aware of the fact that he's still growing to get to that level, but mm-hmm. where he currently is, 
he said for you need years of work in a fan base um, that'll be there till they die. He goes, that's different. So it seems like even though Complex is putting all this notoriety onto him, he's very much like relaxed. That's one thing I like about 21. He's very, uh, anytime I've seen interviews with him, he's very well-spoken. Uh, he seems to be uh, intelligent and aware, self-aware. So for him to, you know, say, listen, man, I'm not on that level. Don't put me in that. Like, mm-hmm. I'm still building. I'm still working. I like that. I like when guys are like, okay, I'll take it. Like, if you want to vote me as the, the best rapper of 2022, okay, sure. But don't start putting me in the categories with a J. Cole and a Drake. Like, although I have an album with Drake. I'm still not on that level. But that's only publications trying to make that. Again, 21 wouldn't even say that. That's just starting something. This is all about just uh, wanting to click and getting people up, you know, riled up and wanting people to comment on things and things like that. That's what these publications do, which it it works. It's it's, it's the oldest trick in the book. Let's name the guy that we know isn't the best rapper Mm. of 2022. Let's name him the best rapper of 2022 and just have people go back and forth about it. How soon? But he had a great year. Let's not let's not uh, let's not move away from that. Like Twenty One Savage had a great year. Twenty Twenty Two was a great year for him. All right. So speaking of Drake, into betting, what's the over under? Three or four days until Westside Gun tweets. <laughs> days? <laughs> you going days? Hours? Yeah. I'm, when, as what we, time as did this drop? This, <laughs> as we're recording this, uh. You know, West Side is like, listen, man, y'all don't understand art. You know how you say art? <laughs> y'all don't understand the art. <laughs> he is on a layover from Paris to Milan. Yeah, going crazy. Sh- shaking at yeah. TSA. He cannot believe Complex named 21 Savage the best rapper of 2020. Yeah. Y'all, y'all didn't get the art that I, I just came from Paris. <laughs> and Virgil did the cover. Like, <laughs> it's like, what? Yo, after Virgil passed, love, he yeah. did the cover. Yo, that's why I love West. West ain't gonna let you forget what he did during the year. He gonna Hell hold no. in case you forgot. This is everything I did. But um, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, listen, West, it is what it is. West will take it as far as like, yeah, I, I fucked that girl that was on the cover of her Lois like ten years ago. Y'all don't even they just get catching it. up to me. <laughs> <laughs> I got a T-shirt. For y'all don't even 50 understand years ago it. With y'all, her don't, face y'all don't. Yeah, that's why I'm not doing this no more. I'm done. <laughs> You know, West retire every day. He read a publication. He's like, oh, no, I'm done. I'm retiring. This is it. I'm out of here. But um, I mean, I guess congrats to uh, 21 on being yeah. named uh, Complex as a best rapper of 2022. I think it's deserved. No matter what we think and how we, how much we sit here and pod about it, um, I'm pretty sure he takes that home and says, hey, listen, I got named yeah. by Complex, if that means anything to 21 as best rapper of 2022. Well, if, if, if we pod or not for the rest of our lives... 21 still has an album with Drake. So I think it'll be Absolutely. Right. Um, I did see, uh, I think Nori filled in on The Breakfast Club this morning. Okay. Or it was yesterday morning. I forgot when it was. Um, but he said they did the rumor mill with Nori. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's funny. Which was just funny to me to begin yeah, with. Yeah. Uh, because not only is Nori just like at his core, just a project baby from Left Rack. And funny as shit. He's messy. Yeah. So he likes the rumor mill. Mm -hmm. He said that there was a rumor going around that Future was upset with Drake because he did the 21 album. He felt like it diluted the moment and what their album is. Because now it looks like Drake is just doing joint albums and, you know, What a Time to Be Alive isn't as special as it once was. But what what a time to be alive. By the way, I want to make this clear. I do not think Future said this (laughs) at all to anyone. But Nori said running around the This is the biggest rumor in the industry right now that Future's upset at Drake because he did the 21 Savage album (laughs) and it ruined what a time to be alive. Do I think Future said this at all? Hell no. I think Future likes that album. (laughs) I I, I mean, it would be hard for a a music person to not like this Drake and uh, 21 Savage. It's a a really good album. Mm. But it's just funny that Nori went up there was like, yeah, nah, you know, your future is not, he not, you know, he's not too happy about that. Like, mm-hmm. future is on tour, right? Is he on tour right now? Is he still on tour? He's yes, probably like, and he's I'm doing not, amazing numbers. Yeah, like, I'm, he's not future. I don't think future is uh, bothered by this at all. And that album was what, eight years ago? Uh, 2015. Oh, yeah, so seven, eight years ago. Wow. Yeah. Seven years ago, when this <laughs> he one goes. Out. I've never heard it from Future, nor Drake, <laughs> nor Twenty One. <laughs> but it's an alleged big rumor. No, no, I like that. I heard, <laughs> Nori said, "I heard, I heard there's a big rumor." Yo, See, you got to just yo, stop yo, right I there. Can't say I heard. I You're heard not even there. saying the rumor. Yeah, like I heard there's a big rumor. I heard there's a rumor. 
I heard there's a big rumor. Like, Nori. No, Yo, where? hearing about the rumor rather than the rumor is Yeah, like, funny. nah, that's where we at now. You got to hear about the rumor before you hear the rumor. That's and what hilarious. constitutes it as a big rumor, not just a rumor? I heard I mean, about the yeah, big Yeah, because if rumor, it's a big rumor, it's like, we might have heard knows. that too, right? When it's a big rumor, it's, it's big like, rumor. Nori, you wouldn't be the first time we heard this. It would be like, oh, we this is a big rumor. We all heard this. And can you, like, really picture Future running around the industry on some passive aggressive shit? Like, so what do you think about the 21... And Drake Every album. time somebody playing it, <laughs> like imagine, imagine the intro come on and Future's in the club and he just ice grilling everybody. Twenty one, can you do something? Future for me? sitting there like I could have done something for him. I could have done a lot. Hey, I've talked to his petty ex for him, <laughs> literally. <laughs> yo, I heard a, I heard a big rumor. This is a big rumor. I heard a big rumor. Yo, that I... Drake and Twenty One are going on tour. Didn't That's they say heard. that? Yeah, that's exactly. That's why I oh. said I heard it. Well, you're, you're an industry insider now. Oh, yeah. So they may have not said it, but you heard it amongst, you know, the big rumors. Yes, mm. I heard You know, rumor lane. Yeah, I heard I heard a where big Nori, rumor. Where Nori hangs out to hear <laughs> what's going on. Hear all the rumors? I heard a big rumor that Drake and 21 are going on tour this year mm. uh, for the Her, Her Lost Project. I think that's going to be a dope show. Oh, absolutely. You want to go? that's going to be for a sure. real risk. Ooh, I'm sorry. Ooh, I, I still can't get past picturing future in the club listening to that like saying all the things he could have done for drake instead <laughs> <laughs> like i would have done plenty of things for you drake i, I did we did a lot yeah we, what a time you don't remember Do big big rings don't mean anything anymore <laughs> i thought we were gonna do some billy 30 big, big, big really big things <laughs> <laughs> you lied to me drake you lied to me i thought we had a big team y'all asking for tickets to the tour i feel like those tickets are a little bit easier to come by yeah uh, i wouldn't mind asking that Oh, for that for that tour for the stadium tour, yeah, yeah I wouldn't. I mean, for the team. If they the tell difference. you the stadium tour the guest list is slam, then guest list slammed. That's like a three hundred person guest. I heard a big rumor that the guest list is slammed. Big big slam. <laughs> uh, Hearing a rumor that the guest list is slammed. Yeah, is fucking I, that's nuts. what I heard. I heard the guest list is um, slammed. Don't even hit nobody asking for anything. Also, while Nori was filling in for Angela Yee to do the rumor has it segment, he brought up uh, running into. Um, oh my God! Take, please take me out of the culture. Why am I blanking on her name? Getting cheated on by the Celtics coach, Nia, Nia Long. Long. Nia Long, clean that up. <laughs> Nori also brought up uh, running into Nia Long outside at a, at a few parties or whatever in New York, mm -hmm. and made the mistake of of saying, "Yo, yo you really been like outside lately." <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Which I thought was fucking hilarious. Nori told Nia Long she been outside. <laughs> yeah, but like it came across <laughs> differently than what he meant. Yeah. yeah. Um, cause you know, she's been, she's been on a few dates holding Omarion's hand and shit. I just only want to get my gossip news from Nori moving forward. Yeah. I think I it think was the Nori only is. time I, I would never care about Nia Long's dating situation until Nori told me about it. Nori is the guy that you would want to hear the gossip from. <laughs> He's the guy that you, cause you know, nine times out of 10, it ain't true, but Nori's <laughs> just going to tell a good story. Yeah. He's going to make it interesting and make it sound true. Well, but I, I did see some pictures floating around of Nia Long. She was in a uh, Dubai. Uh, for the uh hotel, the Atlantis. What is it? The Atlantis Hotel. Mm -hmm. Oh, she was there for the Beyonce. She was there for that. Well, she was in Dubai. I'm She's been prom she promoting, promoting the Best Man final episodes. Oh yeah, it's called. Is uh is Terrence J in that? Because they were together. Yes, Terrence J's in the Best they were Man. Both oh, in I'm Dubai. sorry, I'm thinking Terrence Howard. No, Terrence J is not in oh, there. So, they were so they were there as friends. They were yeah, there no, as no, friends. As, as friends. They were a yeah. lot of people were in Dubai. Um, yeah, see, hanging out <laughs> with actor and host Terrence J as fr and friends in Dubai. Yeah. So yeah, so Neil Long. Listen, man, I'm just, I would just love to just see Nia Long while I'm at Whole Foods in the produce section and maybe she can help me pick a, a good kiwi. I've never been able to pick a good kiwi in my life. Yeah, the texture's odd. Yeah, you gotta get just, the hairiest yeah. one. Yeah. The Is that how it goes? Mm -hmm. The hairiest one? Mm -hmm. I'm your kiwi. Uh, <laughs> I think we're getting no, a rhythm. No, no. I think Listen, everything's no, I, on. I liked how we started look, this check episode. This out. Check this out. I'm not gonna react. Got you. See, it's, 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 okay. it's a new thing. It's I'm 2023. It's yeah. a new thing I'm working 2020 on. 2020, you. Okay, Ed, and if you want to be a Kiwi, be a Kiwi. I want to be sir. your Kiwi, Ma. No problem, sir. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, <laughs> no, it threw you off. See? Yeah, no, no I, you tried. I'm back. I'm I appreciate back. the attempt, look, but it listen, threw you off. I'm, I'm right back. Uh, What's your judgment like with picking avocados? Oh, the avocados worst. is, is kind of tricky, too. It should be more, not too light green. It should be kind of getting into the darker green. Yeah. yeah. But then I, I always yeah. battle with, all right, I'm going to have avocado when I get home, but it's three for five. 
So I now have to time out my three for five. Yeah, stretch it out during the week. And then it's like me trying to drink tea. It'll be piping hot. Mm. I'll let it sit. And then by the time I go back, it's cold. Fish tank water. Yeah, yeah, I get it. <laughs> Fish tank water. I have two avocados <laughs> at home I got to throw out. I never... Oh, you ever go to Trader Joe's and get like the the five? They you think you're getting a deal? Yeah, it's like fucking ten avocados. Yeah, you in there. throw out all of them. <laughs> yeah, the it's one the thing, fucking. They all are ripe at the exact same time, so it's like okay. The fruit only way is the number one thing that as men, as a single man, don't waste your time. Mm-hmm. You know what? You're they, not going to finish it. What they do in Japan, which is pretty fruit. cool, they sell bananas and they'll sell like a five pack of bananas, but it'll be based on ripeness. So one will be ready to go like that day, and then it'll get like greener and greener. Okay. So it can stretch over the course of like a couple of weeks yeah. instead of just getting them all ready and then you just throw out half. How do you feel about Rick Rubin denouncing uh, veganism? Mm. He denounced it? Yes. What did he say about it? Uh, I mean, it was, it was very similar uh, to Malcolm X leaving the nation. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I, I can't wait till you tie this together. <laughs> Please Rick do. Rubin, who was uh, one of the first vegans ever that we like knew about, mm-hmm. was a vegan for like 30 years. Um, and it took him to a very dark place. <laughs> His uh, words. He, His once, words. once he quit being a vegan, he lost 130 pounds. Yeah, because you need fucking protein. What are you trying to say? Well, you can get protein from being fake a vegan. protein. Well, no, you can't get fake protein. But Big Big Rick was like, Nah, I need, I need <laughs> the flesh Rick. of slaughtered animals. <laughs> he said it's a carb only diet. Hmm. What are you trying to say? It's not a carb only diet. A lot of, but a lot of people who are vegan do only eat carbs because they don't know how to eat vegan properly. So they're gaining. Well, that is true. They're eating a but whole I mean, bunch of potatoes has, and rice. When, when you have money, like you can, you can have a chef. Mm-hmm. You can have. You're, like, you're not only counting his carbs; you're counting his pockets. Mm. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not counting his not pockets. I'm just saying, Rick, we can, we can, we don't have to count. We don't, we don't know what Rick a, got. A blind man knows that Rick Rubin is not broke. <laughs> like, you, I don't know. He kind of looks you, broke. You can't. Well, no, that's he definitely purpose. looks. Yeah. He looks. Oh, I don't think he's ever oh, worn a pair of shoes. Oh, y'all fall for that. Oh, y'all yeah. fell for the okie doke. Yeah, I'm well, gonna you look don't broke. Know the, so nobody asks me for anything. I you know. don't know the side of Malibu he lives on. It could be rougher over there. Just the fact it's rougher. The rough side. The rough side of Malibu. Yeah, it gets windy over there <laughs> you know, uh, hurricanes yeah. Nia Long <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing to say except that I only want to hear gossip from Nori that's all I want to hear gossip from Nori uh, I want to hear anything Nori has to say about the culture because his way of just telling stories is absolutely absolutely one of a kind and unique in a way that only Nori can tell you he will have you thinking that it's absolutely true and then he hits you with it I just made all that up I just made all that up I don't know what I'm talking about I just made all that up um, I saw another clip last night of a of a young man at a basketball game. Uh, Julian, you probably saw this. He walked into the court during the game mm-hmm. with a bag of McDonald's. Okay, and he just kept asking, "Who ordered DoorDash?" <laughs> DoorDash. Door, look at him. He's in, he's in, it's the game is going on. He's on the court. Wait, what? What game is this though? This was it's a college a, game. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure which school this was. Duquesne. And um, but he keeps saying DoorDash, DoorDash. He's looking at everybody like who ordered DoorDash. Respectable Door DoorDash delivery guy has the straw taped onto the beverage. Yeah. So this guy means business. Yeah, no, like he's is, a five star. No, this is absolutely this is absolutely somebody ordered this. Maybe he ordered it because mm. it's uh Julian but, just. But he's me... wearing a mic. Oh, and the bag is open. Look at the bag. The, the, the seal the is seal broken. Is, well, any DoorDash person is going to break the seal to grab some fries. What well, is how you automatically know that this is fake? The straw well, is connected to the cup. That never. <laughs> well, I'm saying he, t- he taped it down. Yeah, but it never happens with DoorDash or Uber Eats. He they could be never, a five star. The straw doesn't even make it to you. You can put in notes, add utensils, add yeah. straw. It's not showing up with the order. You know that for a fact. So this obviously looks like this was a prank. A he has YouTuber. a mic. He has a yeah. mic on. He has a mic on his uh on his on his jacket right there. So obviously this was a a a, a YouTube. Uh, Content. He was creating content here. Mm. But on the flip side of it, I think he might have ran his way into a bag with DoorDash with this shit. Over a million views. Yeah, I can see everywhere. I can see DoorDash reaching reaching out to him and making him like if they're smart. A commercial or something like, mm-hmm. you know, it's by like, any means DoorDash will deliver your food, even if it's in the middle of a game. Something like that. Like look at it, he's on the court. It's like that kid that had the Popeye meme and now he's playing college football. And yeah. Popeyes yeah. is giving him, you know, yeah. they're giving him a bag he's on like billboards and stuff they, DoorDash could do this with this kid well respect to him for getting a McDonald's bag even into an arena yeah that's true. difficult yeah true yeah like everybody's like how did he even get on the court where was security <laughs> like he's at the three point line first of all it, <laughs> also it's the Atlantic 10 there's not much security 
Yeah. <laughs> still in now, if this was if this was the ACC, yeah, this couldn't happen at, at Coach K who, Arena. Who, who, who is in the A ten? I think but uh, this could not happen in Cameron Indoor. No I think fucking like way. Saint Bonaventure's in uh, the A ten. I think it'd be alright. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and somebody probably did on the bench or the DoorDash in the Atlantic 10. Like, yo, I'm not getting in. Pass there were, my phone. There, people were speculating because the ref was waving him off, like doing this. People were like, oh, the ref must have ordered it. And he was telling him to get off the court and put it in like the locker <laughs> yeah, yeah, room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, put, it, yeah. put it under the chair right I, there. I said no contact yeah, yeah. delivery. <laughs> I, no I said contact. leave at the door. <laughs> 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 that's funny but I like shit like this though sometimes you gotta just do disruptive shit create content man I, I would be tight though if I cause he's really in the corner like yeah like what if that's a part of the game where I got the ball I right finally got down? in and <laughs> this is my corner three this was set up for me oh man I look at DoorDash commented play of the game good for them They're yeah right. DoorDash give that guy a fucking contract yeah if they're smart they will I see so many brands like really taking advantage of other people making content and them just hopping on it and profiting from it. And if they're mm-hmm. smart, they will do that. Like the ocean spray guy. Yeah. yeah. And I'm with that, but I'm tired of giving companies and their digital marketing team all this credit for commenting play of the game. You're such a hater, bro. No, I agree with him, though. <laughs> How much credit should I give you? But th- I'm saying this If is- you are want okay. to be a culturally relevant thing online, I'm not giving a pat on the back to the only DoorDash culturally relevant thing happening and someone did play of the game. That's without question should be under the comments. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm saying I will give them credit if they do a whole digital campaign of flooding the fucking Lakers court with uh, (laughs) DoorDash deliveries. That's when I'm starting to give credit. You commenting, that's fucking... You're not getting the crypto crypto arena. Run up on LeBron with the... (laughs) You're not getting nowhere near that court. Don't do that. I was... Me and Reason was courtside next to Lexi at the Sparks game at Crypto. That's the Sparks. I was was stretching. My feet was touching the three-point line. Let's talk about the Lakers. Trip a referee? That's like when Meek tripped the ref. I don't know if they had a referee at the game. <laughs> Rory, <laughs> that. Rory, that see, was so. See, why you I gotta, apologize. Hey, Lexi, the entire WNBA See, this why you can't leave everybody Lexi. tickets. Lexi. That was actually a DoorDash delivery guy. <laughs> yeah, like, you can't leave everybody. That's tickets. how I got in the game. She didn't leave me tickets. <laughs> you was calling the fouls like yo, I was, can't touch her. Get your hand off of her. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lexi. I'm joking. You know how I feel about the WNBA. I love y'all. I just wish they'd put more money behind you. Uh, and I wish that more women supported the WNBA. Yeah. Like I said, make Meg the... Equal fucking- pay. You've never been to a WNBA game, ma'am. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you should pay anyway. women. You've well, never bought a ticket to the Seat of Liberty. Shut up. They bought tickets to go see the regular NBA games either. Buy them for us to go see WNBA like you buy them for us to go see the NBA. Who? No, we but that, no, that's a horrible yeah, argument we, to take. Yeah, we don't buy... If we're why don't we turn into men having to buy shit for it's y'all? It's our like, interest. Look how you I'm even turn the supporting the WNBA into men should help you support the W... No, if women think that female athletes should make money, then all women should get behind these female... Uh, these, these these leagues. Go to the games. I agree. Buy the jerseys. Or, or do what every other league company is doing with this whole creative consultant shit. Make Meg or one of these chicks the creative consultant for the NBA. Mm. WNBA, rather. Make her perform. Let her curate which artist should perform. Do the merch with Meg. Like, there's mad easy steps yeah. to do it. But what do I know? Could you imagine if, like, Cardi B that, had, like, collab with the New York Liberty? They can't afford her, though. Nah, that's true. <laughs> that's why <laughs> because this is not happening. Because okay. They can't afford to pay the players. Uh, they because damn women sure don't support them. the league. Uh, let me not do that, though, because the WNBA is part of the NBA. Like, the NBA created the WNBA. Yeah, Absolutely. but it's not profitable. I'm saying you have to invest. You have to fucking waste money to make money. It's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, maybe dump a bunch of money from the NBA budget that you'll eventually make this more profitable. Right, Baze? She's a woman. Or women should start going out in groups and going to these games. Support, like, like how guys do the NBA. We buy tickets, we buy jerseys, we buy... Thirty dollar hot dogs, pause. Hey, mm. nope. I, I said pause. You can't. <laughs> hey, see, no, no respect. Yeah, yeah but women go to NBA dogs. games but for the you, same reason. For hot dogs, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty million dollar hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, two hundred million. <laughs> so in women's, it, it's more incentive to go to an NBA yeah. game. <laughs> Listen, I understand. I get it. I get it. But um, yeah, DoorDash, give this young man a uh, yes. a, a, a commercial something. But I'm not crediting DoorDash for commenting. He on could be the like the new uh, the State Farm guy. Like how Chris Paul's with State Farm, he could be that, that guy from no, DoorDash. Definitely no. the same. Yeah, definitely yeah. the same. Same colors, right? Red and white. Mm. Yeah, I mean, why not? Yeah. DoorDash, 
Just show up in every commercial, DoorDash, in the most random of places. DoorDash, you order DoorDash, mm. in the middle of a circus. Y'all give me too much right sauce. Y'all yeah, give them too much credit. Right you could like free sauce right now. Maybe like put them in okay. the projects and be like, DoorDash, DoorDash, right? Oh, no, you go, she got to come down downstairs and like make sure that she. That she got to come fight through her her homeboys in the front and be like, Nah, he's cool. Like he can come upstairs. Talk about a, a fat on YouTube that, that came and went, going to the hood and just hood pranks. Boy, did that trend no, die down? Not, yeah, because you're not. You know why? Boy, did that trend? Yeah, you know that was gonna die down. Somebody was gonna die. Yeah, that's why. Died, yeah. yeah, exactly. You don't. You can't play like that. They had a Nelly run though. They did for years. It was a Nelly run. run. A Nelly it was run. the highest of highs on YouTube when it was. Oh yeah. When it was. Oh yeah. And when it was gone, it was videos. gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then after a while, somebody got shot at, stabbed, died. Oh, oh yeah. robbed. Yeah. Content. Don't, don't, don't play that shit over here. Uh, Thank God that died. That was. That was the worst YouTube trend ever. Kanye West uh, popped up on our uh, no, he did in our lives again. <laughs> he's he's he, there all the time. Yeah, is he? I have a theory, and we can talk about it after we talk about this part of Kanye. Uh, Kanye asked paparazzi to stop filming him. He says celebs mm-hmm. should get a percentage of money made from paparazzi footage. I agree. Uh, yeah, I mean that's his image. I agree with that. It's his image is his likeness. I absolutely agree with that. I think that, that, that celebrity should get yeah, paid what, that. But that, wouldn't that go to his label or whatever? Not really him. Who owns I'm his saying label? as a photographer, as someone that goes out of their way to shoot content, take photos and videos of people, do you feel like the people you're shooting, you owe them money for that stuff? <laughs> See, yeah, now, absolutely. The, the, so the law is... You couldn't film, you couldn't film if somebody right now area, without to make fine. money from it, without getting them to sign off on that shit. That's what I was yeah. just about to ask. You so can, like, isn't though. that illegal Ooh. technically? Nah. Because well, it's, it's in, in a public area. Yeah, I was going to say, even like as with long certain as like professors or whatever, it's in the contract that your likeness is being used. All right, but then how... I'm going to sound like a weird person. Here, like but weird where, person. where does it stop? Uh, because people's likeness is used on the news with security footage. Right. Like, what, at what point does it stop? That's where do secure. you draw the line? Because when I go watch something on the news online, before I can watch the news clip, there's an ad before it. Mm-hmm. So clearly the news channel is acquiring this footage from someone and now profiting off it and not paying the people, even if I'm just some guy walking past the ATM when it's being robbed, you're still using my like. So where does it stop? Right. I think it's different because you're not using that. Their from, name. F- you're not using that. Yeah, the name yeah. To, f- to make a dollar. You're making sense. I agree. But I'm just saying, where mm. does it stop at that point when you try to type up a law of someone's likeness and image being put it's difficult. On footage. Because yeah. now you're talking about a headline. Mm-hmm. Kanye West. Yes, that's clickable. I get that. Mm-hmm. But it's still, at the end of the day, a file that is uploaded and an ad is put next to it. Yeah. So then you're going to have anyone that's ever on any bit of footage ever Getting any going to court. Getting monetization is going to be difficult on anybody's end, honestly. Because even if when, when TMZ went up to y'all, same thing. It's like mm-hmm. they're gonna, they need their little clicks. But there's money to be made. Also, that's usually some rando. Going around doing things. For but, I mean, from a moral standpoint, I agree, and I, I think the whole paparazzi culture is is very weird and exploitive. Y'all seen those Britney dogs before? Which one? Britney. Britney Spears. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So there's like two. I think there's <laughs> the like Hulu. one. Hulu one on Netflix. Yeah. The Hulu one was crazy though because they violated her. Yeah. Crazy. That's I, where I'm like the morals. So I, I, I think kind of the opposite. I think the focus should be there should be repercussions and laws to protect people like. Kanye, Britney, and what these paparazzis do. Yeah. I think the monetizing the footage is, is, is a yeah. is a weirder and messier conversation. There should be laws that's you have to ask permission or something yeah. to even be able to come near me. Uh, well, well regardless. Absolutely hard. should be. That's hard though, but if you're in a public area. They were harassing yeah, but they were harassing. I mean, they were Spears. harassing. It was, that's what I'm saying. There is definitely There's a gotta line, be a law. Yeah. Like, fuck monetizing it. Like yeah. there has to be a law to And not only that, I mean, you know, conspiracy theorists throughout the years say what you will about the whole Princess Diana tragedy. But the story is mm-hmm. that paparazzi was chasing her she was in the car and she was trying to, you know, drive and yeah. get away from them and end up crashing. Now we know that what the conspiracies are throughout the years that we've heard them all. But that was the story that paparazzi was trying to get away from them, end up, you know, having an accident in the tunnel and crashed. Um, Shit, even with the conspiracies, the overall thought could be paparazzi's had a heavy hand in it. Absolutely. Just, just the overall attention she was getting nonstop. Mm, right. I have an interesting th- uh, theory about Kanye. I believe before the year's out, before quarter four is over, I feel like Adidas will realign themselves with Kanye. Ooh. Interesting. I think, that, I think that Adidas is losing way too much money 
Too much product is sitting in the Adidas warehouses. No Adidas basketball athletes are moving that much product. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think he has over 50% of the Adidas market space with his product. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I just think that Adidas is going to... Because for the most part, the Kanye thing has kind of cooled down. Well, yeah, I mean, this. I was going to say, the reason why I wanted to bring this up, the paparazzi incident aside, this is his first public appearance, and it seems like he's level-headed. He got headed. married. He's level-headed. He's like, hey, like, just... If you're going to take photos of me, give me some money. Like, he's not antagonizing the guy. He's not really being a dick. Well, right. He lost a lot of money. I mean, yeah. I mean, he's, <laughs> yeah. I mean that's his, his fault. chain's now out. Yo, like, yo, let me hold a, a 10 spot at least. Out. Yeah. It's a dub to take a photo. Come on. Yeah, $20. Yeah. Right. Take all the photos you want. <laughs> like the Spider-Man do it in Times Square. I think he said, like, give me 20 or something like that. Yeah, just to start the conversation. Man. All right, you want to take pictures of me? Pay. He should, he should make here. every single paparazzi sign up for Cameo, and then he'll just do it that way. <laughs> <laughs> But I do think that uh, Adidas and, and uh, Kanye will. I disagree wholeheartedly. But really, I don't. Adidas think, is not fucking. with Listen, Kanye West. we know that money is king. Cash I think. Is king, bro. I think and a lot of people are going to start fucking with Kanye West again. Adidas I agree. Is the things. first one. I just, Adidas I, can't wait. They can't wait to get back in business with. Con they are they not moving in. Optics product. wise, they cannot do that. Yeah, optics. There's wise, no optics. way. I, I think Gap agree. can't fuck with Ye Talk. and Adidas can't fuck with Ye again, but I do think everyone else will start fucking with Kanye West again. Bro. Those two will not because of the optics of when it, it happened. Remember I said it, Adidas will realign themselves All right, so with what, Kanye West. Uh, what, what, uh, the same JDL, way want, JBL, whatever their, their group is, I'm sorry, Jews, what type of press release are they going to have to give when they go, <laughs> hey, we're with Kanye again? Oh, you know, like, he, oh, he did the homework yeah, Kyrie didn't do? Exactly. <laughs> Like, oh, he, oh, he now, yeah. we took him to the Holocaust Museum. He's a good guy now. Yeah. Like, the they, they're not going to do that. <laughs> yeah. I do think that Adidas cannot afford to uh, go another year without being in business with Kanye. I think they're losing way too much money. They're not moving any product. Nobody wears Adidas like that. If they're not Yeezy, if they're not uh, anything associated with Kanye, people are not wearing Adidas. It's just, it is what it is. And people, mean, companies want to make money. Yeah. So before the year's over, I'm just saying, let's just wait and see. Mm -hmm. I think that Adidas will issue a statement. Kanye will issue a statement. You know, people love to issue statements. Mm -hmm. And they will look past it because for... I feel like Ky uh, Kyrie, too. I feel like another major shoe company will offer Kyrie another deal. But not Nike. Maybe even Nike. I Again, feel like... I, I think I, Kyrie is going to be fine. I just don't think Ye and Adidas will work together. I think... I, bro, I, I could see Kyrie and Nike... Adidas, I see Kyrie Nike Adidas is losing way too much money, bro. Yeah, because Kyrie didn't way do too anything much that was that fucking crazy. Kyrie didn't do anything. He didn't do anything <laughs> yeah. that was crazy. Kanye West went on Alex Jones Network no, and said, Kanye "I think crazy. Hitler's a good guy." <laughs> yeah, no, Kanye. What Kyrie did and Kanye did are drastically Kyrie fucking different. Yeah, but I could also see, you know, the, the statements coming out and saying, "Yeah, we talked to Kanye and his, you know, <laughs> his, not gonna his ideas and his 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 thought process was a little off, but I don't know, we were yo, able to come to a common ground and bring some understanding." To the to the to the you know the situation. Yeah. I know how they the PR. We consulted with Twenty One Savage yeah. and Complex. Oh God, and, you know you Adidas know, yeah. PR team is one of the best. Are you kidding me? But do you think Kanye will realign himself with them? I don't think Kanye. Absolutely, yeah. really. That's the big. I told y'all. Are you kidding me? You don't. You think Kanye is going to be the one to stop that deal from happening again? Then he'll go no. on a, that press run. Look, they had, they asked me back. Yes, <laughs> they had to. They had to. He gonna say that they had they, to. Bring they had back. to. What well, they was gonna do without me? Exactly. And then all the Kanye stands would be like, "See, this was his overall point the whole time. He just had to prove yeah. that Adidas would drop him uh, and take him back. Yeah. And you guys didn't plan. see the genius because on late registration, he once talked about shoes. And yeah. it's 2023. If you add those four up, yeah. it means Kanye in Islamic. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. know where it's coming. <laughs> what? Yeah, you understand it? <laughs> that was the rollout. That's what they be sounding like. That's what they sound like. It's gonna. If happen. you go through cryptic code, you see that Kanye said this. Yeah. It's gonna happen. I, I disagree happen. wholeheartedly, but yeah. let's just wait and see. I believe so, but we'll find out. Uh Fashion Week happened in Paris. And uh to me, the 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 star of Fashion Week, without a doubt, the star, <laughs> the star. you and Nori should do the gossip thing no, together. She, no, no, the Doja Cat. <laughs> Big Doja. I mean, Doja Cat is is to me, she's just because she's on her own time frequency. She don't give a fuck. And I think when you have that type of attitude to match the talent that she has, I think you're undeniably going to be one of the biggest stars in the world. And I think that's what Doja Cat is. I think that she knows that. I think that she is walking and breathing that right now with this whole Savarsky, however you say it, crystal uh, never, outfit that she had on. Never pronounce Nobody that Nobody knows how to say that word. Swarovski. 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 Yeah, I can never do it. 
She had that. The internet, she put on this whole Swarovski uh, get up by the number one uh, makeup artist, the greatest makeup artist in the world, uh, Pat McGrath, I think is the name. Yes. Mm. Um, and uh, 30,000 Swarovski crystals. Everybody killed her for that. I don't want to get too Stephen A. Smith right now. Okay. Do it. Oh, do it. Do it. Do it. No. But do it. Do. She but she ain't no Madonna. She ain't but no, she ain't last no time Rihanna covered herself in Swarovski or whatever you pronounce it, crystals, oh. we could see her titties. That's true. Oh, but Doja, Yo, Doja she's no Rih- she's no Rihanna. Doja showed us her titties at her birthday party. <laughs> she did. She did do that. You but Rihanna that? showed her titties before that. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, Rihanna was one of the leaders, like after Madonna, of icons showing their titties. Yeah, but uh, I mean, uh, I mean, Naomi Doja. Campbell, mm. Madonna, and okay. then Rihanna, right? As far as like showing titties as I- do we, icons, do we right? Sleep on Janet. I was about and, to. I, I didn't want to say. I didn't want to. According to you, according to you guys, the whole Justin Timberlake white Illuminati did that. I thought Janet was just showing her titties, which I thought was cool. You guys told me it was a conspiracy. Yeah, they they, they blamed they killed Justin for that. Yeah, but they, it killed Janet more than no, they, now they, Janet they gets the credit for Justin it. Make for up that. your they mind, Janet. No, Janet. Like it was a few people killing Justin for it because they really thought that it was a wardrobe malfunction and Justin wasn't supposed to tear the whole thing. He was supposed to tear like a layer of it. No, yeah. Janet bullshit. had the best titty reveal of all time. I, I'm just saying. I won't argue that. Excuse that, me. Excuse me. The best titty reveal of all time is Queen Latifah and Porgy and Bess. Okay. <laughs> That is the greatest titty reveal of all time. All right, let's let's just get <laughs> Julian. Can you pull up? Uh, I just Akuna don't think Tifa? you guys know what he's talking about right now. I, I don't. I do. In Roy, what? stop laughing. In what? I do. Porgy I and Bess. No, y'all listen. Y'all don't. <laughs> Queen Latifah and Bessie. I well, I just don't think they the know greatest... what we're talking about. <laughs> okay, well, y'all go watch Bessie on HBO. <laughs> mm. Queen Latifah sitting at the uh, what is that the call the. Uh, the vanity. The oh, vanity sure. mirror. That's a vanity, yeah. Good lighting. Oh, man. Greatest titty reveal. Because we didn't vanity. know We didn't know that was coming. No. That was like a... What was your initial reaction? Oh, shit. Doesn't look like she knew it was coming either. The crazy <laughs> thing is she has nice titties. Those are nice titties. They're great titties. We never said titties. titties. Those, those are, are, those are No one is saying nice otherwise. Titties. Lathered. Yeah. Lathered. Lathered. Look at the, sheer, the sheen on those. There was... And I know, for, me? I know for a fact those titties started the day with gold bond right on the chest. Listen, those are titties that have been around the block. Okay, those titties, those are I've been through hip hop, I've been through Hollywood. Mm. Those are hip hop Hollywood titties right there. Yeah, uh, greatest titty of all time, Queen Latifah and Bessie, Halle Berry, Swordfish. I was gonna say Swordfish. Yeah, those, those, wow. that was a great. We didn't, we didn't know that was coming down. Yeah, that was, great. that was a good titty reveal right there. Yeah, that was a good titty reveal. Um, but back to Doja Cat, La La and Power, fair. That's an underrated one. La La and Power. I don't remember. We didn't the, think we were going to see the sex scene in Power. I don't even remember. I don't. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. I remember that. Oh, La La and Power. Woman. Yes, Halle Berry and uh, Swordfish. Oh, Sw- great Sword. titty reveal. Great titty reveal. That's yeah. great. Nipples on twelve o'clock. Listen, man. Love a love a what? chick that Damaris, what? love a chick that reads. That's some us. old nigga ass saying. <laughs> what? They sitting straight up. <laughs> they sitting straight up. What you want me to do? So and so were uh, Queen Latifah. <laughs> so was I. <laughs> oh. Oh, Yo, I. Ball at midnight is crazy. Midnight talk. <laughs> midnight man. ball. Woo. Oh man. Um, but going back to Doja. Yes. Again, no no Rihanna with this Swarovski crystals or whatever. I'm going to make this more immature. I didn't want to make it another horny sex podcast. Would you still be with that all still on? Swarovski crystals? The crystal Do- Doja like this. Um, Yes. This is one of those where I'm like waiting to see what y'all answer is. <laughs> <laughs> well, because like, Cause, cause mine is yes. There's no way underneath this dress that her, like that's beneath this dress. It's not crystalled. You think you don't think so? I'm not talking it's about not that crystal. part. It's not crystal, and I also I'm just, just want to say, would you beat if she looked like that? I'm gonna let you guys answer because I think first. she looks fire. Would I beat? <laughs> well, I was always, <laughs> I was always attracted to Mystique and X Men, so oh, kind of the same no. thing. Oh, oh man, yeah. yeah. Y'all know the reason why Doja started dressing like this? Here we go. I hate to be that person. Yeah, no. be that I, person. I hate to be the woman on the podcast. I know because she was in ra- racist chats showing feet. No. <laughs> Please, every time. Yeah, no, that's exactly that's exactly what she did though. No, because she was tired of being sexualized by men, so she wanted to make herself as unattractive as possible. I mean, and here we are. Be. Here we are still sexualizing oh, her. Oh, she doesn't know the thing about men. <laughs> We're disgusting. Now yeah. she's just fulfilling We're fantasy. We're fucking disgusting. Been that red ass so. I know y'all would fuck Now I want to watch anime. Yeah. Chair, Bust that Swarovski that. crystal pussy open. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that ain't stopping men. She still looks good. And don't do that because we don't just sexualize her. We no, think she's a great is, rapper. We think she's funny as fuck. She's, she's an dope. artist. This bro. outfit's hard. We think this eyelash shit was good. Now, this was great. 
The Would eyelash. you bang her out like this? Huh? Would you bang her out like yeah. this? Yeah, yeah, for 100%. sure. Uh, she looks too much like Johnny Depp right there. She looks. Too much- <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say Charlie again, Chaplin a little bit. Yeah, little Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> but then Charlie. again, I don't know. Uh, Johnny Depp in Pirates of the Caribbean looks like a beautiful woman. So Wait, what part of Wait, Pirates? What? Yeah, what Pirates? He's got the hair, hair flowing in the wind. That's I don't know. it, just hair. <laughs> nothing Captain else about Jack Sparrow. Yeah, nothing about Jack Sparrow's just <laughs> drunk woman. ass. Yeah. <laughs> what? No, Rory, please. I think she has you a have HD. Up. Like, you... no, I think <laughs> he watched no, that. I have ADHD. Okay, all right, cool. <laughs> she looks like she's from like a night of the museum. Yeah, she just playing. It looks like of... a, a filter on her face. Because everybody was mad that she was complaining that oh she doesn't have any eyebrows and eyelashes. So the next day she was like oh they want eyelashes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Real shit though. I think the only thing that would ruin, not ruin Doja's career, but affect it is she listens to everything. Like you can tell that she pays attention to what people say about her. Mm. And I think for her own mental health, I think that she would be bigger if she didn't do that. That, that could that fuck sense. her up though, but she's been one of the better people ever, I think, that handles the internet well. Yeah, and reacting. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So she moves with it. She moves with it. She yeah. doesn't, uh, she's very secure within herself. Uh, it takes a certain type of security in a woman to shave your eyebrows, shave your head. Or, again, to show your feet in certain chat rooms. You show your feet in chat rooms. I feel like you was in the chat rooms. You keep bringing that up. You saw him first live. Nor- again, once again, callback. Nori told me about this. Yeah. <laughs> big rumor. Nori was the first person to tell me about Doja Cat. You heard there's a big rumor? <laughs> I heard there's a big rumor that Doja Cat is saying nigger and showing her feet. <laughs> she said what? Nigger. Oh, okay. Just- and showing her feet. Is that weird, what she said? Weird she said combo. nigger, right? Well, what is Doja Cat? What is her ethnicity? She uses the N word in music, right? Yeah. What's her ethnicity? She has African in her, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know what her. I, I never really cared to find out, but I, okay. So Doja Cat. Okay, she was born October 21st. Okay, Los Angeles. Oh, she's born in LA. Okay. Oh. She's South African and Jewish. She's Jewish. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, here we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I see. I see where the success. Does comes it all from. make oh, sense? Man. Now? Yes. Oh, man. I'm joking. I'm joking. We totally get it now. <laughs> we to totally it. understand. Okay, so she's she's Jewish heritage and South African, South African descent. It's a good. That's a nice. That's a nice mix. Yeah. Anytime they use the uh, N word in South Africa, it's usually it's, good, it's good, pur- good it's purposes. A, yeah, right? Apartheid. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. I mean, oh, she's born in Tarzana. Oh, okay. I love that movie. Was For it, some reason, what I does that thought, make her exotic? No, I just the I, suburbs of LA. No, you know what it is. For some it's reason, where Chris I, Brown lives now. I always thought. For some reason, I always thought that Doja was from the East Coast. Really? Oh, really? I always, oh, she I always, always gave thought me she was from Cali the East Coast. vibes for sure. Mm-hmm. Always thought she's. But I should have known that because her and Sweetie are like really best friends. Right? Well, they, like she, super close. They actually have soon a soon after her birth. birth. Do you I think they like, dorm together at USC? Soon after her birth, she moved to Ride, New York. So, but only for five years. All right, I'm not gonna say it. Yes, you are. Go ahead, Why it. did she move to Rye, New York? Because uh, be next maternal, to Rye Playland. Her duh. maternal grandmother is a Jewish. <laughs> it's the most architect. Jewish community in New York City. Her, her that's her grandmother was a, a Jewish architect. Oh, she's good. Yeah. From Rye, Rye, New York, <laughs> house was she's amazing. Have though. you seen the houses up there in Rye? Yes, it's one of the most expensive <laughs> fucking towns in New York. Absolutely, oh, that's why she was in those self-hating chats. Yes. Oh, okay. And oh, you understand oh, Rye, New York, so Rye bread. Sense. Come on, like yeah. Okay. Put everything together. Cat's Deli. It. All right. Yeah. Doja's Deli. <laughs> I'll get it. No, it makes it, it makes all the sense. I promise you the dots. The Swarovski crystals are connecting right I now. I just hope I'm Doja knows that we're a fan. No, I <laughs> yeah. I, I don't even have to speak. I, I love, love Doja. Doja she's 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 dope. Um well anyways, how come you didn't go to Fashion Week? Uh I had to sit here with my main man in pod. Oh, I'm not your I'm not your main man. No, you're oh. not. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at me. I'm like, oh, that was so sweet. The Damaris. Oh. You gave him a compliment. I wait, I think we love you would have had enough time. Didn't we have enough time off for you to, to no. shoot over to Paris? To no, Perrier? When? I don't know. That like, wasn't over our break. I, I thought it was after. After. All right, fine. Oh, yeah, that, was, that was just last week. I mean, you could have flown me out with you. And we could have yeah. potted out there. I don't know. I, I, every time I think about Fashion Week now, I think of the Her Loss album. He's like, I, I'm keeping the lights on in the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> You cannot see me. What, you cannot match interview- my drive and your wood is at their V12. Can we interview that guy? I have a four cylinder. <laughs> you cannot match my drive. You sound like I'm New York Cohen. I am the one keeping the lights on. In the, I put the lights on in the Eiffel Tower. I am responsible for it. 
It's me and the boy. First of all, not going to Paris because of that is even funnier. <laughs> the boy. Yeah, like every time I listen to that, he's like, we don't do fashion week. Fashion week is for the, it's for the, it's for the, you know, he just shitted on everybody that goes to yeah, fashion. Yeah, yeah. Like, we don't do that no more. That's equivalent to us going to like Art Basel. I would go to Fashion Week and Art Basel. No, I'm Fashion 40. Week is still a, South by a Southwest? bigger deal. Than, I would like to go to Paris. Don't do that. I love South by. I, 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 we should go this year to South by, actually. I'm down. Just to catch the, you know, just see Summer what's going Jam. On. Huh? Definitely Summer Jam. Summer Jam. I got it. I like Summer Jam. You're not oh, going Rory, to Summer you're Jam. Full of shit. I have not missed the Summer Jam outside of last summer. Cap. Jam. Cap. It's not Cap. Big Cap. <laughs> Mad cap. Big Cap. Big cap. How is that Big Cap? You wasn't Four. there the year Megan and Cardi was there. You guys do know that we've been doing podcasts for seven years and everything is recorded. That is true. I have talked about Summer Jam, I think, outside of last year. Was you're the out there in the I didn't rain? Know. It didn't rain last year either. You're out there every year in the rain? Yes. I mean, I got you know a little bit of status now, so I don't have to be in the rain. But he's on a golf cart to the back, in and out of raindrops. In but no, I've I've I've, I've been at Summer Jam the last how many years? It's right. It's right there. Last year, last year <laughs> like I could true, throw right? a rock at it. <laughs> last year was actually a good lineup for us uh, Summer Jam too. I thought we talked about. Going and didn't last they didn't year. they do like a K Slade tribute too? Yes, they did. Yeah, mm-hmm. man, I would have liked to go to that. I think we're out of town. No, there was some reason I didn't go, or I would have went. I always go to Summer. Was Jam. Was it the same weekend as Roots Picnic? Potentially. That might have been it. I yeah. think we were in Philly. Yeah. It might have been. It might See, have been. I don't like that in... That's become part of the hip-hop culture of shitting on the iconic things. It's not cool to go to them anymore. Are we on that? We on Fashion Week now. We can't fuck with Summer Jam. Why can't you fuck with both? Mm-hmm. You can fuck with both, but it has to be good. Yeah, the lineups have to be good. It has to be good. Like They did a whole tribute to K. Slay, who is a legend in our culture, and brought out fucking everybody that K Slays affected their lives and made their careers better. What's doper than that in hip hop? We're not like I don't I don't like that people shit on so much iconic stuff because it's not the well, most that's relevant. The new, that's the new thing to do. You got to shit on shit. I think no. I still think it's Shitting cool. On shit. I would still go to Paris to Fashion Week. I still think that's cool, and I love that hip hop is so represented at that. I'm keeping. I feel the like it's on. moving Fashion Week now. I put the lights on in the Eiffel yes. Tower. I just don't understand why both can't <laughs> exist. Like, why can't it be cool to go to both? No, I'm with you on that. Um, mm-hmm. It's just certain things that I just, I don't, I don't know. I think a lot of things become uh, kind of dilu- diluted because it's like some people that shouldn't be there are there. And it's like, all right, how, how are you here? How are they here at this event? Like, right. when it gets to that, it's like, I'm sure Anna Wintour well, the- is like, all right, some of y'all should not be here from the Paris Fashion Week. Doesn't she approve the guest list? <laughs> yes, yeah, but it's a lot of people that don't get approved. They, and she can't keep you from coming to Paris. Mm. But you're not going to certain events. Here's the thing, though. As much as people will disagree with me, I think Anna Winter liked that fucking Cardi B got hit with a high heel at the get the Met Gala. I think Anna Winter did for sure. Yeah, I don't I, think. I, I think. I thought, I thought the was about to say. I think she's the one that hit her with the shit. No, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Ra. It was. Nah, it was Anna Winter. It wasn't Ra at all. That was Anna. That was Anna's work. I know an Anna Hill when I see it. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Cardi going to the ER and the surgeon looking at it like, yeah, judging by the size of this wound, this Anna's feels foot. like an Anna Hill. That was Anna's foot right there. <laughs> the, well, uh, the train cop, Rory. <laughs> <laughs> Paris, last train. train. Yes, I, you know, I, last train. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, no, I'm, Rory, don't do that. Talent. Uh, the train cop, uh, Julian's favorite story of the of the year so far. Okay. Also found out the their trains run 24 hours in Paris and I felt let down, but go ahead. <laughs> He was like, wait, mad, mad they, they don't stop? <laughs> they don't, yeah, there's never a last train. It's never a last train. Puff lied. The uh, Tennessee cop going wild. <laughs> Tennessee cop going train, wild. Yeah. She didn't go train wild. Cop. Just, the, the transit cop. She, she went slept, wild. She slept with guys that she wanted to sleep with. Uh, Megan Her Hall. Office. She's been offered $10,000 to do two shows, so 5000 a night, at Nashville Strip Club after being fired for having on-duty sex with several colleagues. Deja Vu Showgirls in Nashville has asked Megan Hall to perform two shows at their club for $10,000. It is unclear if she will take them up on their offer as she told Daily Mail she's just going to move on and live life following isn't, the scandal. Isn't that living your life, though, after the scandal? Oh, You got to get the bags listen, off the scandal. Listen, once them bills come around about three months... <laughs> I think they're gonna, cheating her. She's going to call Deja Vu like, yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of with... That 10K still on the table? I'm with Damaris here. That, offers, that offer's too low. But... In two weeks, that offer will be too high. Yeah. Listen, yeah. But you got you got to get your 20, 20K now. Listen, all Megan got to do is start her OnlyFans and fucking a uniform. For sure. Cash For out. sure. It's over. Good night. You think they took the whole uniform back or just the she belt? She can go get any uniform get a, at a this point. One. 
Uh-huh. She was a real cop at one point. She can get any uniform and do an yeah. OnlyFans right now. And I stick think the a fake uniform might be more stick sexy. Stick a flashlight in her butt and twerk while the light is on. <laughs> while Megan the light gave is you on. twerk You're vibes. You're so specific. Huh? Megan I mean, gave you twerk she vibes. She give me twerk, but her name is Megan. I mean, Meg. Her name is Megan. Ah, right. Megan. Me, I was about to say she gives me Megan vibes. <laughs> Why are y'all disrespecting Megan like that? But like, so, she's tell not me how it's working. She's like, not a she's shaking dancer. her thigh meat. Yeah, shake so? her thigh meat. I'm saying they're giving her money to dance. She's not a dancer. She just has sex. Okay, but like male rappers host strip clubs. Wait, does Nashville do full like full nudity? Oh, that's the South. Oh yeah, yeah. She, they, they, you they don't make gotta the, dance make, good up there and show your cervix. They make the good. ass wink at you as soon as you walk show in. You cervix. know what would be really dope? Give her 50k. She's security and pats down all male patrons walking in the door and has a uniform on. Y'all picked like, the wrong career. She give them handies. <laughs> Y'all should be concerned. <laughs> sir, what, sir, what is this? <laughs> no, no, no. You cannot bring that in here. <laughs> Yo, role playing at the door of a strip club when you actually trying to get in. <laughs> <laughs> and the niggas get mad like, yo, Megan, get out of here, yo. Like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> like they know her by now like yo man yeah. move yo I don't have a why gun why your hands so wet yeah like what is this you're packing big boy <laughs> and you, you're in the south so <laughs> you know Megan talk like that look at her Come and on. in the south like men and women go to strip club together so imagine all the fights Meg would have to get in with girlfriends yeah. <laughs> they should, that would definitely be a, the better that's the better play but she's got cop training so she could probably you know man hire Megan as head of security at Deja Vu super yeah. head of security, security ahead. and just let her <laughs> take pictures <laughs> Super head of security. Dude, don't ever say head of, <laughs> again, please. <laughs> security of head is funny. No. Uh, but either way, security Megan, of head I, is fucking hilarious. She, she, I think that she has a pretty uh, promising future ahead of her. Um, I, I, I don't think so. What she, she can, she can do porn. She can do all kind of shit now. She, Are you kidding can me? she? Absolutely. Can she? This story is gonna be gone in a few days. Doesn't matter Bro. if she starts her OnlyFans. If now, she makes her OnlyFans right now and makes fucking uh, a million, how is um. Uh, uh, transracial shorty doing transracial shorty. Rachel Dolezal she she did her OnlyFans and she it went did nowhere. it too late uh, Rachel Dolezal the white woman that thinks she's black she she oh. spent like three years trying to convince that's her transphobic. she was black and then she started <laughs> yeah, OnlyFans that, yeah that's different this, this, this stems from sex already she had sex with uh, co-workers in uniform. Mm. So sex is already in play here. Mm. But she's not, so, they know she nasty. Like that's one of the best paying already. for OnlyFans. Like you whoa, know whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm you no. know no. nasty. Uh, would, uh, let's define nasty real quick. She could have fucked five people terribly. Yeah. Right. In one position, gave nothing. She's, she's nasty <laughs> for like nothing. earth, not nasty in sex. We don't know that. True. You know, she's perfect for the sex wor- world. Like, oh, you f- in any of your uniform you fucked? Oh, you got a career. <laughs> you are on the wrong force. You need to come sign over here at Deja Vu. And we're going to get you right. 10,000. They just offered her the 10K for two nights. This is the shot of Deja Vu. Don't let Vu. the line be wrapped around the block when they find out she did. Definitely bringing it back for they, 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 She signed on the contract. She's going to be the main attraction to Deja Vu. I just feel like I wouldn't the, pink, see the pink would know what to do with her. I don't know if Deja Vu knows what to do. This is sick. Well, it's a pink sign. So I mean, the uh, Uncle that, Clifford would would market her much better. Uncle mm-hmm. Clifford would have her out there selling ass right <laughs> already, next, right next to the fish plates. Like, listen, go get your fish plate and go get you some of that Megan ass. Yeah, the fact Uncle that this Clifford place has 10k rule. to give out looks crazy. Look at that because place. they know they're gonna make it back mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah, first of all, you got strip clubs fucked up. They know, bro. If <laughs> that they put, 10k and I know that type of spot. 10k is nothing for to them. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> what's that cap in there? About seven six hundred. Julian, you know what type of taxes they file? They lost no money. <laughs> <laughs> That spot oh. is rolling in it. Two shows, five thousand. Their per champagne show. room, nasty as hell. Now nah, Megan about to go in there and get that work. Remember that, like there was the last cop that snitched, like snitched on her mm-hmm. because once he found out everyone else beat, <laughs> you felt like he kind of liked her, right? That's how she got snitched on. Yeah, the last mm-hmm. one that fucked. Mm-hmm. Do you think he shows up to that deja vu strip club? Oh, he calls and, in a and, pay, and pays her to beat again. No, he calls a he calls in a bomb threat to get it shut down. He's a hater. He definitely calls yeah, yeah. in a bomb. He's threat. gonna walk in like, "Do you have your permits?" <laughs> <laughs> this he's is a C rating. Up, he's definitely showing up with the chief of fire department. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. shut this shit down. The marshal, too many it's people. Way, it's way too many people in here. And then while Megan leaving, he's gonna be like, "Yo, so you ain't gonna call me?" Yeah. Like, yo, fam, you had her whole night shut down. You hating ass, nigga? Where are your Where are your working papers, Megan? Yeah, you fucking hater. <laughs> Uh, speaking of strange love and uh, dating preferences, mm-hmm. sometimes you want to date the whole force. Yep. S- sometimes you want to date a grown woman that looks like a child. 
No. Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> I never wanted to do that. Not a day in my life did I ever say, you know what? I think I'm going to start dating a woman that looks like a child. I'm a hypocrite and not in that regards. Every time I see some crazy bullshit on social media, I say to myself, oh, I don't want to see this stuff. And then I fully engulf myself and I read the entire thing. Mm-hmm. So there's this 20, 23 year old, I want to say. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Julian has it up here. He's 23 years old. He's dating a woman that looks like she's fucking 10. Mm-hmm. She has a, a rare disease or something. What's the exact thing? I don't want to be due to, rude, rude to her uh, condition. She had cancer as a kid and due to some treatments she got, it kind of stunted her growth. Stunted her growth. Mm-hmm. So, And shouts to her for surviving that type of shit. That's crazy. But with that said, what do we think about the 23-year-old that's He's 26. Her? She's 23. Uh, so Dan Swigart, mm. he's, he's known as a hunky travel blogger. Mm. Um, is it, where's he known there? That's what it says in the article, mm. a hunky travel blogger. Oh, I thought this was your review. Oh, no, never, <laughs> definitely not. He's not my type. Mm. Uh, Dan Swigart is recently, he recently began romancing reality star Shauna Ray. Mm. That's her name. Whose growth was stunted due to treatment she received as a child for brain cancer. So they're an influencer couple. Uh, yes, you can say they're influencing love. Couples goals, uh, if you will. Love has no limits and no boundaries. Mm-hmm. Who weighs 50 pounds and is three feet, 10 inches tall. Jesus. Um, She's 50 pounds. That's what it says there. Now, uh, <laughs> here's the thing. Uh, you know, you, you, you attracted to whatever you attracted to. That's your prerogative, Man. Dan. But no, it's not. No, <laughs> it is no. prerogative. If, if that's what he's attracted to, that's it's like legal pedophilia. It's not okay if you're attracted to anything you're attracted to. I'm sorry. What do you mean? It's what? not your prerogative. You can't be attracted to everything. This just can't, the world can't operate that way. All right, well, let's shoot. Let's no, you shoot. can't be attracted to everything, but I mean, you're attracted to whatever you're attracted to. That's your business. I mean, it's not, I mean, she's, 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 she's 23 years old, so yeah. she's a legal, she's legal age. She's, she's a, a big she's, girl. She's a woman. But the optics. Stop. Would make someone say, "Ah, uh, you know, it's okay." She still looks like all right. So what young, ha- what happens if your twelve year old daughter gets a fake ID that says she's twenty three and is mature mentally for her age and walks outside and meets a tr- a hunky it's, travel it's blogger totally and says, "Hey, I'm twenty three so, years old, totally even though different. I clearly look twelve. It's, it's not the same thing." And, and yeah. the yeah. Why, how, tell me, I was different. The reason she's why I'm actually twenty three, actually twenty three years old. Not even that. He didn't find her. She doesn't on the have street. an ID that says she's twenty three. He didn't find she's her on the street. She's actually twenty three years old. That's the difference. She's popping on the gram, bro. Yeah, he didn't find her on the street, and she was just some young girl, and he like tried to hit on her. She had a reality show, okay. and that's so how he on, saw right. her. So he saw her, and she was holding up her legal ID with the DMV going, that's her actual age? No, but he probably- No, he saw her show. fucking face. On no. the show. On the show. She has a reality show. So he, she has a reality show because she's that little, I and get she what has you're that disease. Just the optics. She had a reality but, show, and so he knew from the moment he saw is, her that This is where I feel like the Republican on the show let's, sometimes, and you guys are the fucking liberals. No, I'm just, let's look at the upside. He There's looks no. like he was about to go down one of two paths. He was either just going to be become a pedophile- <laughs> or he was going to find a situation where That's it could work sick. out. <laughs> he got the luck of the draw. He got the best of both worlds. Or he can w- legally get his shit off. Okay, now I will. Say, Ironically, uh, is the name of the Jay Z and R. Kelly album. I will. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. I will say this though. Now, if something comes up in the future about Dan's past, and he has issues with dating young girls, then I'll be like, okay. Yeah. This guy I has. Agree. You know what I mean? But. As of right now, that's a grown woman. This is a technical okay. Shoot him some. Yeah, shoot Yo, him some. Yo, look at this photo. I mean, uh, yes, I, I understand what Rory's saying. Uh, I get it. I get you it. You guys are not going to talk me out of this one. No, no, you're not wrong for feeling how you feel. It's and, just, my, and I think my example eating? is very much accurate. No, it's in not. That, it's a horrible example. How is, how is that not? Bro, because because her, she's I, actually 23 she's actually years old. She doesn't have a fake ID that says she's 23. I'm talking about someone being okay with dating how some... Someone that looks like a child. Right. Mm. Uh-huh. An ID would say otherwise. Yeah, but that's no. the only thing that would really defer you from that. You like, oh, look. you're no looks. It'd be different if she looked if saying. she looked old as fuck and was super young. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't even blame somebody. It's like, damn, that girl looks like she's 26, but she ends up being 15. Mm-hmm. That's fucked up, but you didn't know. She looks like she's a 26-year-old. She looks older, yes. That's okay. not your fault until you find out That's how old she Instagram. is. And if you keep going, now it's your fault. Right. So in this regard, how is it any different? Or you got to look past her looks, man. She looks young as shit. She, she looks, looks like 50 a little girl. pounds. Yeah. She looks like a little girl. She's like a bag of sand. I'm, I'm with you on that. 
And as someone that has debated with wow. y'all with never having a type, I'm lying when I say that. Wow, I have a type. I, we, we know. What is his type? <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently, children. I'm telling yes. you, man. This dude you're, was a, you're not. You're making a bold point. He was you're making a point. I'm, I just, understand. I would have to see his exes. The fact remains is she, exactly. I would have to see. Yeah. His what exes. is his history? I would have to see his Yeah. <laughs> because, like I said, like if, if he, this is his first like real relationship, then it's like, oh, this, this is dude. a little sick. If yeah. he approached her in a yeah. grocery store, then I think he's a creep. But Imagine he saw his ex, her though. on TV. <laughs> He DM'd her. And he knew he used to watch her show. He knows how old she was. He knew all of that. Sick. He's nah, a groupie. But, but even when you just said that, that He's sounds sick. He's all right. So how if he, does it sound if he sick? only dated reality TV stars, you know what? I'd shoot him some bail. You're just a weirdo that likes reality TV stars. This one just happens to look like, look a, like a child. Girl. Yes. I'm sure she's not the first one. He's DM. She's the first one to answer. Ugh. See, of little girls? Or? No, of oh. in, you said probably. You said influencers. You guys are because most little girls hey, don't control wrong, their DMs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's you're parental lock because usually their parents take their phones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to. I'm saying I, I really think it was a split decision. He was either going to become a pedophile or just get somehow hit the lottery. I, I want to look at out. this from her perspective. How do you guys think I, she feels? And so you're saying that she should never date anybody ever just because she's a grown ass woman. Like, no, and uh, here's the thing: I do feel for her. Also, think it's incredible that she survived that because that's nuts to be brain cancer as a kid oh. and to move around what i think grow up <laughs> i don't up. even know where he was going uh, with it i, I don't, still don't even know just ignore going him right. go ahead but her as a grown woman should even have the self-awareness to ask why does this grown man Never mind. I'm gonna sound like you an asshole. I'm gonna sound like an asshole, but it's fine. No, no, because do you think I'm gonna sound like an asshole? Why does this grown ass man find me attractive? <laughs> do you think they've had that conversation, <laughs> or is it just Who's like? Who's gonna say that though? That's like have you asking nah, an ugly I mean, girl, "Oh, why does this man find me attractive?" Like she thinks she's attractive, and she should, and she okay. has low self esteem. Her pussy is 23 years old, and yeah. it worked like a 23 year old. See, so now she's going too far. How, but I'm, but let's be fucking for real. Like, she, let's at, be at for least real. she said it. She's a woman. She yeah, you could say that. No, she yeah. is a woman. I'm not saying she, she's <laughs> not. Right. I'm talking about the optics. We live in a fucking world of optics. Yep. No, yeah, and you're right. And visually, how we view people this is, is crazy. a fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. Okay, let's flip it. The movie Jack. Mm -hmm. With Robin Williams. Robin Williams. Classic. Classic movie. Mm -hmm. He has a disease where he ages fucking weekly. Mm -hmm. Right. He's a 10-year-old in a, a 50-year-old's body. Mm. That's different. You guys are letting your daughter date him? That's different. That's completely different. How? You know that How? that's different. Well, one's a movie. You know well, that yeah, that's what? different. Yeah, well, one's a movie. <laughs> Slightly different. Let's yeah. just start there. Yeah. One's a movie. I mean, and one has, has one, of, one has one of the greatest comedians of all yeah, time. Yeah, R.P. Bill Cosby, isn't it? Um, <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I wasn't talking about Robin. R.I.P. Robin. Yeah. R.I.P. Cosby. <laughs> hey, hey. This is going to sell out the garden. You watch and see. Um, all right. So in this scenario, though, are you letting That's a sick. your younger daughter you date Jack in, what are they, in middle school here? Yeah, They're the same age. I think elementary, actually. Damaris, they're the same age. I forgot about this movie. Yeah, but it's, they're the it's, same age, Damaris. Okay. Yeah, but it's a difference. So, it's are you letting? Different. And I'm, and I'm saying, I'm different. saying by middle school standards, like date, like cute, whatever. We'll go to the movies and like maybe kiss quickly, like that type of dating, date, middle school dating. Are you even letting your daughter date Jack because he's the same age, or because he looks like a grown ass fucking man? Mm. <laughs> Or yeah, but you know that it's different. not the same. Like, How is it not the same? Is, he is fighting so hard, Mo. Of course I am. Yeah, no, but it's like, a podcast. He, should, he, should <laughs> fight. he, like, he fight. is fighting so but it is, hard. But it is a, a difference, though. But I understand what you're saying. Like, why is he attracted to a, he's a, a woman fucking pedophile. that looks like a He's not girl. a pedophile. Yeah, so yeah. you're saying any, my, so my she point can is never optics. date anybody my point is for the rest optics. of her That's life. I'm That's not what I'm getting at. No, it's not, I'm not the I'm same, not, but my point is optics. I'm not putting it on her. I think she, look, she deserves to live a life, have a life, do all that shit. It's him. He's the fucking sicko. Yes. She's a grown woman. She is. She has a 20 year old person. Okay. And she she's should an be adult. Let me add this. Let me add this. Let me add this. So she should date a guy that's like a little, a short guy, a little guy? No, she no. should date whoever the fuck she wants to date. I'm saying he's the creep. He's a creep. So that so you're basically saying that anybody yeah, who dates her is a creep. Now. Unfortunately. Probably. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me, okay. Hold yeah. on. Hold on. Or, or she has to she has to cougar this thing up. 
And it's okay for women to be predators. We know that. Yeah. She should date a fucking 17 year old. It's a no, she should. No, she should not. not. <laughs> no, she should not. Now I didn't think you were going to go there. I didn't think he was going to do that. I didn't think he was going to say that. I took back my yeah. I thought he was, I was waiting for him to make the point. Like, okay. It's a 17. No, no, no. Yeah. Can't do 17. She should get on her babysitter vibes and maybe. You know, ruin remember a young man's life by that, molesting that him. movie Orphan. That, <laughs> remember stop. that movie Orphan? Please fucking stop! Oh yes. my god, the when, Orphan? No, I don't. When it's an Orphan, it's a scary movie about the little girl. The family adopts, it's and well. she terrorizes the house, kills people. Turns out she's an adult. In a turns out body. she was a, a full blown adult that had some dis- neurodegenerative disease. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I remember this movie. Similar vibes, like, like, but there's other. I'm not saying she has to date someone that's like that, but. This looks I'm sick. not saying she can date anyone she wants. I'm just saying there's a high probability that he's a fucking creep. Okay. Yeah. I will take, I'll accept This that. has accept nothing to do with her. There is a probability that he is a creep. However, I will just to shoot him a little bit more bail. I no. will say that one of the things that older men or creepy men like about dating younger girls is the fact that their brain is also younger as well. Their brain is also that of a child. That is a grown woman. If you go and talk to her, she has the brain of a grown woman. She's going to have a grown Demaris, woman I've dated 23 She's 23. It doesn't matter what she looks like. Yeah. Still easily uh, manipulated. Wow. Um, wow, 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 <laughs> she's, wow. She's not wow, a grown woman. Wow, she's 23. Wow, wow, he's 20. <laughs> But I mean, he's 26, 23 ain't that old. So, I mean, they're both, ch- they're both children. Okay. Like, he's 26. Yeah, no, their age is 26. Yeah, which, which a 26 year old dating a 23 year old is, that's actually a good, I think, yeah. age a bad range. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like. This is optics. That's the only thing I'm talking about. There's a three feet difference. She should be the able two. to date. Fuck height difference. That's fine too. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's a lot of little people. She looks like a little girl. She does look like a If child. I would have been 50 pounds when I was 23, I'd been getting tossed around. Oh, what is wrong with this one? And I'm the one that took it to That's far. sick. No, for <laughs> That's real though. Is that if what they, you want for yourself? They should start. <laughs> pounds at what if, if they started in OnlyFans, that shit would go crazy. It would go Julie crazy. Julian would watch. No, I would not. Yeah, all the pedos in the world would go crazy. That's what I'm shit. saying. Like he found a loophole in the pedos. system. He did not find a... He did. He's a fucking... Listen, pedophile. I, I would like to say, hey, pedophile. Dan Swigart, Sean Ray. Let love lead the way. Period. <laughs> Period. That was a bar. I think that rhymed. Yeah, let, let love guide you. You know me. May the may the, what is it? May may your wind the wind in your sails take you to <laughs> heights you've never seen. I don't know. Like who gives a fuck? You talk about, the, talk about the poem at the end of Blow. No. <laughs> let the wind be by your back. <laughs> the stars amongst your forehead. <laughs> That's the exact poem that I wish upon. Uh, Dan and Shauna. Like, I mean, I get it. The optics does look a little crazy. A lot okay. crazy, a little. Bro. A lot. And I think, little, I think but, Julian's yeah. uh, point was maybe worded a, a bit off. But if this stops one little mm-hmm. girl from getting touched, I think sh- she's a hero. <laughs> she could low key end pedophilia. All right. If she took what that cop did and just <laughs> followed the same path, <laughs> just go- <laughs> the old beaten path. <laughs> just- you know, just go after the whole crew. <laughs> a 29 year old woman has been charged after allegedly posing. <laughs> oh, this is Shauna Ray. <laughs> Yo, can you fucking. <laughs> Wait, is this the same story? What the fuck is Ma, going we just on covered this. <laughs> so, a 29 year old woman has been charged after allegedly posing as a student at a New Jersey high school. Mm. So this 29-year-old woman uh, fraudulently posed as a high school student for several days after allegedly filing false documents. The incident was announced during the New Brunswick school board meeting Tuesday. Of course, this is in New Brunswick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, specifically, Ms. Shin provided a, prov- a false birth certificate to the New Brunswick Board of Education with the intent to enroll as a juvenile high school student. Do we know why she... Did she give a statement? Did she say anything? She just wanted to go back to high school? The old she glory to- days. Do you I just mean, want to relive the glory days? I, again, let the wind be at your back. <laughs> hey. See, they should have let Al Bundy do this at like, Poke High. Yeah, they should let Al re- re- re-enlist. Like, <laughs> well, yo, so, yo, dreams never die. That's yeah, all I'm all. saying. Yeah, let Al Bundy go back to high school, man. Poke High's finest. Did they find out why she was doing this? No, she won't give a statement as to why. But they have like pictures of her in class and shit. Like, she's want to get her grades up. How does she? Do we have the pictures? Do can we see how she looked? Because I would love to see how. Yeah, she looked like Shauna Ray. How she? <laughs> <laughs> how a twenty nine year old was able to fool Jack the was her teacher role in high school? Like, I just don't understand what the fuck is going on. But either way, um, I'm glad they caught her and her fucking shenanigans. That's not wait. That's oh, not that's her. her. That's her. <laughs> that's, I mean, okay. that's her right there. That's Please put not. this on that's the video. Her. Oh, this is her. 
So that lady still is 42. <laughs> is she Asian? Now she's Asian. She's Asian. Okay. Well, they look young. I feel like there's like 10 movies like this though. Where the older person goes. Well, to what high was school. she trying to? Isn't that 21 Jump Street? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, she yeah. probably probably doesn't have a high school degree and probably needed to get one, honestly. But like, people can make fake get, ones of or those. just get a GED. Get a GED. Yeah, yeah. GED. Do you works. guys think if you had to go back in high school, you would like smoke it? Like, be, be <laughs> oh, like no. Uh, <laughs> I think I'd be worse off as a 29 year old than I was as a 16 year old in high school. Yeah, For sure. I those courses would blow my mind with my <laughs> brain right now. <laughs> My brain is fried. Yeah, my, my brain is sure. worse off than it once was. Too mad. much what alcohol and drugs. I, I don't. I, well, uh, having a drink I'm glad class. that they they caught Miss Shin. Whatever her name <laughs> are is. Are you glad? Yeah. Like you feel like the streets are yeah, better off. Right. The streets are safe now. Ma, what was your favorite um, subject in school? My favorite subject? Yeah. History. I went Choir. to a music school, so my favorite subject probably was music theory. I I like theory, but I didn't. It's not my favorite. Um, what do you feel like the theory of music is? <laughs> It's just it. It speaks to the soul of the man. Gosh, you know, everything is music. Your heartbeat, your mm, pulse. Right. You put the pulse that. plays is, is the drum of your life. I saw a drum. I saw a drum line too. I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. the exactly. camera triggers. It's, it's you know, you just feel it on the inside, and then you oh. project it to the world. Wait, we're still talking about music. Music. Okay. okay. Yeah. R- Ma, yes. what was your favorite? What was your favorite? Oh, I forgot subject. you even asked. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, tell us about chemistry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot you even asked. <laughs> uh, favorite subject in high school. Or the one you were best at. I'll say that. History. Which is usually the same as your favorite. English. There. Oh. English? Mm, yeah. Because you know how to okay. speak to them, right? You know how to speak to the people. The spells. Mm. Manage them. Spells. Got mm-hmm. you. Right. Just how about words you? Are spells. And if you know how to spell, then you know how to cast your spells into the world. If you mm. speak in a certain tongue. Got you. Um, history was, kind of was probably my favorite you subject. You colonizer. Yeah, yeah. And I just love to learn just about the whites. I mean, it's in the good old times. <laughs> I knew he couldn't wait till they started teaching oh, no, about I've, how every, the Irish every, were slaves. What? The white Egyptians. Started, I felt so seen during history. Potato yeah. I was famine. like, man, we just, like, finally. What, <laughs> what a beautiful <laughs> race we were. Like, look what we did for the world. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm so glad I'm not in high school right now. High school would suck ass I did, right now. Uh, the <laughs> second quarter or semester, whatever the fuck you call it, in high school um, of my senior year. Like the final part of history, they did. They had history through film. Mm-hmm. Ooh, and okay. listen, it was we had like one of those fresh out of college teachers. She was bad. Yeah, you know she was. She was all right. Mm. She was doable. Oh my god. Yeah. You get it. You know, I felt like if I my optics, if I looked older, yeah, you it would have been that. okay if yeah. if we had engaged in that mm-hmm. regard. But she played like. Forrest Gump and like all these movies shit. that Lord, I watched for the first time Lord of War in that fucking class like she showed ill movies that just had like tiny things that had to do with history mm-hmm. and then we just had to fill out a sheet afterwards and for the most part at that point you know I was I was done with track I'd already gotten a scholarship I may have uh, part, partaken in a lot of extracurricular activities at the latter part of my senior year mm-hmm. I was high when I went and to school a lot. And it was the first well, it was, high school, it was the so. first class. Yeah. All right. So all I would do before was fill out <laughs> based off Wikipedia was a new thing at that time. Nice. And I would just take the description of the movie and just and fill it, it into the yeah. thing. And she was a college student, so she must have known what Wikipedia was, but she used to write the, the most amazing comments of how much detail I paid attention she to. Thought you were she wanted to be I wrote the best synopsis like for Roger Gump Ebert. on earth. <laughs> <Where's> my- <laughs> it's like she would write like in pen so much detail here, smiley face. Like, hey. was like, no, he's not autistic. <laughs> Sorry. No, I think I definitely wrote it. <laughs> Did you guys ever have show and tell when you were in like grade school? Oh yeah, yeah I, bought of eighth. I bought an eighth to the classroom. That's funny. I was gonna ask you what you guys brought. Here's the bricks. I don't uh, even remember what I brought. I don't show think we ever had show and tell. We definitely had show and tell. I just don't remember what I I definitely didn't have no show and tell. Yeah, I, I remember what I bought. Show and tell was just a way to try to get you to snitch on what was going on in your house. <laughs> like you bring certain shit. They'd be like, yo, what's going on in his household? Like, what the fuck is right. that? Demaris, what'd you bring? Yeah, what'd you no, bring? Nothing, nothing of importance. Of course. Show remember. and tell? Yeah, show and tell? Yeah, yeah, we did. What you brought? I had a, we had just gotten a kitten. So I brought her a cat. Oh my God. It's pretty, Wait, you brought a cat yeah, into a, a school? Cat. Yeah, yeah. Did your was, parents was know like a, you brought the cat? Yes, they oh, okay. drove me to school. Yeah, it was in like a cage thing. You enjoy your cat, sweetie. So, so give me the presentation. What'd you say? Yeah, yeah. We just cop this cat. <laughs> we just cop this cat. 
I would have been like, boo, that cat sucks. <laughs> for sure. Who's a kid? Well, I think in the 90s, it was irresponsible that kids could just bring in cupcakes for their birthday and all of us would eat them. Yes. <laughs> we didn't get to, we didn't watch, none of you guys bake this. Bake sale was the sickest shit ever. The bake that sale? That can't go now. There are rules now that I like with our, our PC shit. Yeah. Let's stop eating everybody's baked goods in school. Yeah. I'm not, don't, don't tell me you made this in your, let me see your oven. People be having cats. Take a picture I was of your say stove. Cat hair. He bought stuff. one to school. He'd be about to say. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, very clean Someone else household. show and tell was a cupcake that the yeah. cat licked. Yo, oh, this is a cat. This is the cupcake that the cat licked. <laughs> why why did they just let us bring in cupcakes for our birthday for everyone to have? That was just a way to, I guess to teach us how to sell stuff and But they weren't supposed I know in my school they weren't supposed to be like homemade cupcakes. Like you had to buy, buy like oh, a yeah, store bought store. so oh, that no, you could that was see. my shit. I used to go get Really? I, I, know, I used to I go buy the Inman's cookies, Inman's, yeah. put them shits in a in a tub away my mom's had in the crib. I'm like, yeah, no, nah, I baked these joints right here. <laughs> they Enemans. say Hoffers right on the side. En- like. Enemans. Nah, you take them out the box and you just dump them in the Tupperware. Like, yo, here, Enemans. Did you guys have the, um, was it, what was it called? It wasn't the book set. Like, what was that week? Scholastic. Scholastic Sc- Book Fair? Oh, yeah. that was my shit. Yeah. Book Fair? That's Book Fair. Right, book Fair. That's what yeah. I was looking for, yeah. Book Fair was the shit. Yeah. All the Goosebumps books. I love the Book Fair. The Book Fair was great. They should do that now for like adults. I would go buy all those books. Too. I read all the Hardy Boys, that whole series. Oh, like, hey, yo, Hardy Boys, like, cool, man. I'm, I'm, you making me uncomfortable. That's, way, that's, way, that's, way, that's way y'all the Hardy Boys. No, of course I read time. Them. No, it's not. When I taught in Chicago, of course. Okay. Fuck, when I, when that was I taught at the book in Chicago, they did the we did the Scholastic Book Fair. I think I was more hyped than the students. Yeah, that, that was a time, man. They thought it was so whack. I was like, this is incredible. Kids don't read anymore. That's why they rap the way they do now. <laughs> read. All they want to do is fentanyl and fucking TikTok. <laughs> Where did you you want to know how from? much of a lame I was as a kid? How much of a I lame I used to you? smoke the box top uh, Oh, not the box top challenge. You fucking you loser. crazy? I used to go. What cereal were you eating? No, I used to go to all my family members. Like, <laughs> my grandfather was the king of Raisin Bran. He would go through a box damn near every two days. Raisin Bran. To build so bridges. I used to go to him and just collect all the box tops. I used to ask my family members that weren't even around to just like mail their box tops. Look at you. See, like I used box to do, remember the, the the like the fundraisers. They would give you like the book full of either like chocolate or like the little pizza. World thing. finest chocolate. That's the greatest chocolate in the world. That's just yeah. mad good. Actually. Biggest scam ever. That's oh, the dude. greatest chocolate I, in the world. My mother used to get them off. I knew it was a scam when I see McDonald's selling them shits. I was like, wait, now wait a minute. Yeah. Why are these at the fucking register in McDonald's? I mean, they was running Whole a scam box? off that uh the peel and play shit. What was the McDonald's? Oh, the, uh, the, McDo- the Mi- Monopoly. Monopoly. Yeah. yeah. Smart. Yeah, once I found out that was ran by the Columbos, I was like, all right. <laughs> the Columbos? It was. No, I know. I watched, watched the it. doc. <laughs> a, t- a friend of mine, I told you, this dude. I, I never got anything from my box top con- contributions. Now I think about it. A dude in my school, he uh, he he actually won. He got all four of the railroads in the Monopoly thing. But he only got it because we went on a field trip to D.C. Mm. And he took his board, the, the game, the board game with him. Mm-hmm. He had it in his book bag. And we stopped at a, a McDonald's down in DC. And he, he got he bought like a some, some McDonald's. He peeled the thing and he had the fourth railroad. I think the railroads were never in the same like state. Yeah, but what did he like what did he win? What was the prize? Whatever the four railroads four railroads was worth. Probably must have been McDonald's what, what, what area in the Bronx are you from again? Me? Yeah. Fordham. Is that the story he told you? What you mean? I think the Columbos are up up, up around that way. <laughs> Columbo. <laughs> yeah, is that what he told Columbo. you? Yeah. <laughs> is that what he said? This was a black. He said kid, he, got, he got the he got the fourth railroad. It, no, we was there. We was all there, and he was like, "Yo, I got yeah, it." Yeah, where did he get the other three? From from New York, from here. Mm, yeah, from Frankie Columbo. Uh, <laughs> Frankie, maybe you might you might too many a, too many uh, white Italians were winning. They had to let one black kid win. No, no that's what they said in the doc. Yeah, they had to find a black girl. There was like they'll never guess it now. Yeah, <laughs> that's a black shit. woman in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally what they did. That's seriously in the doc. How the hell did we get to eighteen dollars a dozen for some eggs? Because we didn't turn in our uh, box stops. Mm. If everyone was vegan, mall, this wouldn't be an issue. Yeah, but how, why are eggs this expensive? Did have, the egg carton has become the symbol of inflation. By the end of twenty twenty two, prices had shot up sixty percent year over, putting a strain on holiday budgeting for households across the country. Uh, on Tuesday, on Upper East Side of Manhattan, one of the most expensive neighborhoods in America. That's wild, just reading that. Prices remained steep. At Eli's Market, a gourmet grocery store, a dozen organic eggs cost between $12.99 and $17.99. That's nuts. I'm glad they said that. Somebody said, that's nuts. A store manager declined to comment. He commented. Did he? Uh, uh, That's nuts. Isn't that his comment? No, that's not the store manager. Yeah, he replied. He said, these are nice eggs. (laughs) 
Did you that night? <laughs> That's the quote. You break, you buy. <laughs> Get out. Uh, but a lot more expensive than usual. There are I signs. See, I think all the jokes though. What's, but look, what's the it says there, there are signs that things might be turning around. The USDA Agricultural Market Service promises an end is in sight. As of 20, January twentieth, loose egg prices have declined by fifty two percent from their high the week of December eighteenth. But in the stores that I visited, that decline was not translating into lower prices for the consumer. Uh, just stop eating fucking eggs. Mm. No. I mean, just. I'm just gonna get on. You're eating big. chicken, period. You guys know there's an American egg that, board. It's not chicken, period. That is chicken, period. It's not chicken, period. It is chicken, period. It's chicken like eggs. It's chicken. Yeah. It's chicken abortions. It's yes. Yeah, chicken it's, abortions make sense, but not chicken, period. Well, when you have your period, what do you re- re- release eggs, right? You when can't you have scramble. A baby, you you can't eggs. scramble those though. Huh? Yeah. You can't really scramble those though. Yeah, you can. You've you've scrambled a woman's eggs before. No, wait. <laughs> this was about to go somewhere else. No, no, this, no. To answer your question, no, Rory. I have you bought a plan B. You no. scrambled a, a chick's eggs before. I, see, I was. <laughs> see, don't do that. Have you guys ever heard of balut? Sunny side up. Those are. <laughs> no, those are. No. They're a little runny after plan B. What is balut? So balut is a, a Filipino dish where they take a f- pretty much a, a days from being born embryo, and you like soft boil it and cook it and you actually eat the you can see it it's the fully developed baby chicken there so oh nice abortion. and you throw some salt on it and it's Oof. super crunchy you bite right through the head good texture all yeah. the beak and shit Oof. yeah hell you're eating a fetus fuck no I don't so that's a duck it's a fertilized duck egg i mean as opposed to what veal like baby cow i mean just just fucking go they eat. steam them Oh, you just go eat. Just eat chicken. Why don't you just go <laughs> eat chicken? Like, the fuck? I mean, this this seems to me like yeah. with elections... Biting into that is a Being fucking... close. This is the new conspiracy. What is like the most American number one product that's in everything when you go to the grocery store is eggs. So, Ma, Gas you know, prices yes. and eggs. That's going to be the new fucking they inflation. Have this, uh, they have this thing uh, like... like uh, It's called Just Eggs. It's like uh, it's like that's mud, not it's, that's not just that. It's, it's called like it's made of like mud beans, mud beans, mun mun beans, I believe. So everything but it's, it's other shit in there. It's um, it's not bad though. It's not bad. It's to me, I, I it's a uh, you know you got to add stuff to it, make it like an omelet, red pepper, green pepper, add some stuff in it. It's spinach and mushrooms and things like that. But mung bean, that's what it is. Mung bean, mung bean. What did you ask, Damaris? If he ate X, you should try that. You I should try to just egg. I'm okay. Try give it. me a give me you. give me Trump give me a, a prediction of Trump quotes around egg inflation. A prediction of Trump because I think this is going to be the new uh, yeah. election point. It's that that's why I think they've just inflated eggs out of nowhere. This is going to be the new thing to run on. <laughs> Do you run. have you seen the egg prices? Scrambled. <laughs> First, they scrambled the votes, and now they have oh to scramble God. the eggs. It's a pretty good one. Yeah, I'm not mad at that at all. They scrambled the votes? They scrambled your election, <laughs> now, people. Now you can't even scramble eggs. Yes. <laughs> um, on another note, this is the three-year anniversary of the passing, untimely passing. I went and I told my advisors, these are Hillary's eggs. Rory. <laughs> right in the middle of the transition. Yeah. We, we moved away from that. This is the, I'm today, kidding. She can't have children anymore. Today is the three-year anniversary. Bridget. Today is the three-year anniversary on the passing of Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gianna Bryant, along with John Altabelli, Kerry Altabelli, Alyssa Altabelli, Christina Mauser, Sarah Chester, Peyton Chester, and Ara Zobayan. Um, they were all tragically killed in a helicopter helicopter accident uh, three years ago. Today, uh, one of the bigger tragedies of my lifetime yeah. that I can uh, recall. Um, so. Continue prayers and condolences to the families of all of the victims, um, specifically, uh, you know, Kobe and Gianna Bryant, who we who we knew in uh, some form of fashion. Obviously, Kobe Bryant being the legend that he is and was. So continue prayers to the families um, and condolences and uh, rest in peace, Kobe, Gianna, John Altabelli, Kerry Altabelli, Alyssa Altabelli, Christina Mauser, Sarah Chester, Peyton Chester, and Ara Zobayan. All right, Rory. Uh, so that's it for the week, man. Yeah. Any plans for the weekend? No, just trying to figure out how to edit out most of uh, the things that are going to get us canceled here. Yeah, that's, <laughs> Eddie, you have your hands full. All right. Got a good weekend ahead of you, buddy. Bays, anything? 
Baze is not talking. Oh, now, to oh, now you're qui- now you're quiet. She has an attitude. You're locked in the in the room. I should call Peter. Mm. Those are ASPCA. That's, I don't think that's what Peter handles. It's ASPCA. I'm not trying to eat Baze. She's trying to eat you. <laughs> uh, so we'll be back next week. Have your have a safe weekend. Enjoy yourselves. Be safe. I'm that nigga. He's just ginger. Peace. No worry, I'm